Thank you for tuning in guys. Today we'll learn about AWS and only one particular feature of AWS called EC2. So EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Computing. Today we'll make one instance and run our website or web server in that. Okay so let's get started first we need to log into amazon console we can get it in google like this aws console you need to sign up i already have an account it's free for one year then we need to log in with your username and password this is the amazon console I'll show you what services it provides. There are hundreds of services. We'll only deal with EC2. So here we are going to launch an instance. An instance is nothing but a virtual computer. So we'll launch a Ubuntu OS. Let's take uh, the recent one. Let me just see if I have missed any configuration things that I need to check. So it's fine. So we can install, we can start an instance with Ubuntu already installed. And, uh, sorry, excuse me. You can see that it has one CPU, one RAM, and things like that. We can also make like multiple very strong instance, but right now this is enough for our demo. So we launch it. There are other uh, implementation ch changes we can do, but it's not needed. Now we'll download a key pair. This key is required for you to access your instance from the terminal of your computer. You can rename it to anything. This is very important and you need to save this file very carefully. So as I said earlier, instance is nothing but a computer in virtual cloud. So to access that, this is like a password right keep it so we launch the instance and the instance is launching it will take like few minutes and it comes up here in the instance tab this is the one which we created i didn't name it anything that one was earlier i was trying jenkins the ci cd continuous integration that is not needed but i think i can't remove it right now but it's fine so it's running now and now we we'll have got an IP. This is your web server. Okay, let's try to log in. I think I've, I've forgotten how to log in. Let me try. Uh, let me see where I am. Okay. So to log in, there is a particular command that you need to know. And uh, with that command, you can easily log in cd is just going in, in the directory this was the key that we created and for the login for the login we have some ssh command i think it is ssh minus i but uh, let me just remember it it should be ssh minus i key name and uh, instance name so let me try that ssh minus i key name uh, root at the rate oh sorry we have to give ip here which we got of our instance and we can't use root in the beginning we should use ubuntu for security reasons we can't log into root directly so this is how you log in yes we need to add the fingerprint this is a different concept i can explain this some other time okay so it was not permitted because the file or the key that we had has some permissions which are not allowed so we need to restrict the permission of that file or key file so i'm going to change the permission of that file to i think 400 so let me just try that 
and then we will run that command again fingerprint is already added so now we are inside our instance which is hosted in cloud this is a completely separate machine with its own configuration and power and we are no more inside our system we can see the details here what its capacity is now we'll try to run one php site because uh, setting up php is very simple just for this demo if you run the uh, ip like this you are not going to get anything okay our machine is ready now to set up a web server we need to do few things in addition to just the instance setup okay so let's start with that so as you know these are the instance which is, this is the instance we created there's something called network uh, we can see from here and what we need to do is we need to create a new network okay so i think here we can create so no problem we have a network tab here on the left there's a link somewhere security groups sorry and in security groups we need to create a new security group so security group is nothing but it's a configuration okay where we can define what kind of traffic we will allow to this instance and to which ips we can hit from the instance so we'll do that now we can give some name that's okay this is by default we need to add the inbound and outbound both the rules i'm not sure about port but here we can this is like we need to configure what kind of port is going to allow to hit so custom tcp is okay port let me just put something and later i will, uh, I will put something there so let's see the EC2 dashboard. We need to we created a security group. Now we can right click and add the security group. So go to the settings and I think there is chain security groups or maybe even attach works. So here we type the name of the security group which we created. And security group is nothing but a set of rules to say which port can access the instance. Right, so we added it now. Let's try the our uh, instance and see if anything happens. And it's not working as expected. Let me tell you the reason very shortly. Any port is not working, so we need to install a web server. I'm installing PHP for easy demo. And how to install PHP is same everywhere. It's not any specific to EC2. This is how you install it in your system also. Only thing is here you use command line. So this you can take from anywhere how to install PHP from command line and you can just run this. Since this is Ubuntu 20, maybe we need to think about specific commands. So, and there might be a lot of uh, issues that comes up uh, because command line is nobody is an expert in command line you can only know that okay these things are possible in command line but even the same problem you get sometimes will repeat and you won't remember it so command line is like that if you just know about what to do it's not enough if you just do it few times also it's not enough to be good in command line you have to spend time okay so installing php is done uh, let me install few other things which are required mm, we are in ubuntu drive ubuntu folder so let me see what is required. apache 2 and other installations so once these things are installed Mm, 
so let me clear the screen and install PHP these are just the steps to install PHP three or four dependencies and uh, this is not something that anyone remembers I don't remember just uh, copy paste it from Google and you can get uh, how to install PHP this is not related to AWS so just trying out few things something is working something is not working you can pause the video and see the steps but uh, it's not really critical right now so most of the things are installed let me just try okay as you can see PHP is running and you know that uh, we all know that the default port for PHP is in uh, where was it var slash www something like this so let's just see that so a default page comes up this is the page that will be loaded to us if it works everything is working properly so that's all i'm just checking few directories please excuse me now we'll try to load the website for us okay it seems like it's working so this is how we solve our web page on the cloud in ec2 uh, similarly we can also install anything else docker or anything